Hello everyone, hope you all are doing fine. So today in IELTS speaking topic, we are going to cover how to speak on environment and pollution. Okay, so this is one of the common topics that is presented in either part one, part two or part three. But basically part two and part three are the prominent ones. So though it looks scary at the beginning, if you know what to speak and how to speak or what areas you can cover while speaking about environment, pollution, global warming, anything, then it will be very easy, you, uh, easy for you to comprehend and understand, okay, this is what I'm going to speak and you have clear idea and then it will be easy for you to remember and speak on that spontaneously. But the first thing that you must do is that I would advise you to learn or watch BBC news or any latest updates that keeps you up to date with what is going on around our atmosphere, what is going on in environment, uh, you know, all the issues surrounding this topic. This will help you to be of uh, at least the minimum knowledge required to have while speaking on it. So let's see what areas or what topics can be covered inside this environmental and pollution. Okay, so the first area that may be covered inside the environment and pollution is of course the pollution. This is one of the major issues that is faced by our world today because each and every person is just trying to live their life with comfortability without realizing how their comfort is affecting the environment for example the air is polluted by using more of vehicles and burning the plastics and so on whereas water is contaminated mainly due to the negligence from industries factories and others and noise pollution of course from ourselves the human beings are becoming more and more loud i suppose because they do not think twice before honking in the traffic conditions they know that they cannot go in front till the other one goes. Still, they keep honking as if it is going to help. So we are becoming negligent day by day. The other area that can be included is weather. Though it, it may not be directly about some effects, it may be about your liking and disliking as well. For example, this can include as a which season do you like or do you like cold season or summer season or do you like to live in a city that is cold or a rainy something like this okay so related to seasons related to climate it will be asked so at sometimes at certain point in part three it may also be asked as um, how do people affect weather or how environmental change or global warming is affecting the weather so these are a few questions that may be covered in this topic. The other one is wildlife. I think we have neglected this topic a lot and even people as well as the governments are becoming, uh, turning their backs from this topic, I would say, because they don't think that this is essential. However, I think this is also very crucial for our ecosystem balance in our world because wildlife is an important part after humans, trees, and floras, and faunas. So if you do not preserve, if we do not preserve these wildlife, then it may affect some species. For example, nowadays, the tigers, they are becoming extinct because of the negligence from both the individuals and the government. So we should take this serious and we should know at least some basic points and basic things about our wildlife centuries such as how zoo are run or how zoo affects the living of a species, whether it be wild or the home one. So all these areas like zoo topics or how to save the wildlife century or how we can improve the quality of life they are having, all these questions may be included in this topic. The next one is solutions for this area, okay? So now we know the causes. Now how we can, okay? You will be asked to suggest some solutions that can be used 
to curb all these problems like the questions may be uh, in your opinion what government and individuals can do to reduce air pollution or what according to you should be done to save a wildlife century so they the question the examiner will ask you your opinion or your suggestion on solutions for these problems these causes the next thing is destruction and preservation of natural world all things so this is related to our uh, flora you can say the plants the deforestation how we deforest and how it leads to global warming and how we can preserve it by planting more trees or by doing some sapling work or gardening or organic gardening in our houses so all these causes and effect that can be included for a natural world that is deforestation the plants the water all these things can also be included in the environmental issues so these are some common issues that can be involved when talking about this topic now let's see each one in a little more detail and see that what are the causes what problem it causes what effect it has that is what are the problems and then what solution what possible solutions you can talk about them okay so let's have a look so these are few areas that you could see okay so the pollution pollution from garbage it can be anything littering littering means people nowadays just throw the garbage on the roads or they do not throw segregate the garbage and litters and put it in their biodegradable areas such as plastic in plastic bin or glass in glass bin so this is also one type of pollution then the industrial waste of course industries waste in forms of fumes or chimneys the fumes that come out of the chimneys or you could say the waste the disposals that come out of their factories and just directly goes and mingles in the water which contaminates the water so this is another type of waste pollution water pollution then household waste this includes our daily garbage that is produced in our houses uh, the main thing is that we do not segregate we do not understand the importance of segregating the garbage and thus polluting it when the garbage goes in the area it is burned and that gives out harmic harmful and toxic gases in the area where it is burnt so that may affect the way people breathe around because it has contaminated the air around it so these are some pollution from garbage another pollution the main thing that we have talked about that is water air and soil pollution soil pollution is nothing but when the rain comes and the whole soil is eroded that is called the soil pollution it gets waste and thus the area around the rivers or beaches gets affected then the environment also has some global issues that is throughout the world it is seen that is global warming of course the doing of our negligence is what resulted into global warming the, uh, temperatures are increasing day by day there is uh, hotness throughout the world and even some places like arctic is becoming melting it's melting the ice is melting in arctic so that has been uh, for years it didn't occur but now due to the rising heat the rising temperature it is depleting day by day and experts say that it is very harmful and in future it may be extinct then the land degradation the fall of land the climate change of course there are some places where it is totally hot no rain no winter whereas other places is always cold and they cannot experience summer so this is extreme climate deforestation this is the main cause for this climate change one of the main causes you can say because deforestation as the population is increasing day by day the demand for housing and other furniture is increasing and thus deforestation is prominent in this world the cutting of trees there are hundreds and thousands of trees which are cut apart from that now in sahara desert and other uh, australian desert which, which is very prominent in news nowadays is that due to the heat due to the climate change due to the increasing temperature there are wild fires wild fires that are spreading throughout those forests 
killing each and everything that comes in their way. And it has been uh, 200 years that such phenomenon has occurred. So definitely we are destroying our planet by negligence, I could say. Next is how can we save the environment? Okay, well, these are the pollutions. Now, how can we save them? Before saving, let's see the causes. What are the causes of environmental problems? Exhaust gases, that is for fumes, either from the vehicles or from the industry. Illegal dumping, the waste, the garbage that is not dumped in exactly dumping area, but wherever they find places, they just dump it. So this is a one area which needs to be avoided. Then habitat destruction, the deforestation, because the trees are cut, habitats are decreasing and it is affecting drastically the wildlife centuries. Intensive farming. Intensive farming is nothing but that how people are irrigating the agricultural lands and doing farming by using some chemicals which are affecting the fruits and vegetables or other crops that are grown. Overpopulation, of course, it led to deforestation and imbalance in the climate, you could say, because more of people are living life where ACs and vehicles are prominent and they are using it to a great extent without realizing the harmful effect it leaves on the environment. So overpopulation is leading to deforestation as well as, I could say, air pollution also. Then carbon emissions, of course, from the industries, the factories, or the other things that we use in our household appliances, such as the electronic gadgets, that also emit carbon dioxide. Then, how can we save the environment? These are few ways in which we can save our environment. Recycling. By recycling, what does this mean by recycling? Recycle the waste. Like nowadays, we are told that do not use plastic, and if you use please send it to a recycling bin so that it can be refaced, reused and then produced into a new one so that it can keep continuing and it will avoid the burning so that the air is not contaminated due to the hazardous chemicals that are emitted while burning these plastic materials. Another is the clean energy that is the natural energies that can be produced from, you know, uh, the wind power or the water power, all these things that produce energy like solar panels. The solar panels are day by day decrease, uh, increasing in its popularity because people are preferring to make energy from these solar panels. So this is a way to avoid some uh, calamities that could happen when we use exhaust our existing energy sources. Then protection. Protection is not only for the environment, but also protection from the air, water pollutions, as well as protection for the wildlife centuries, the birds that live inside, the trees, everything. So we need to protect each and everything that constitutes our environment. National parks, this is just for natural beauty. This can freshen up the air as well as strengthen the uh, the natural world the greenery around a place if there is a national park it not only helps in a healthy life for individuals but also helps in a healthy life for wild animals or other animals who do not have habitat due to deforestation so these are some effects uh, and its solution okay so let's see some more ways in what we can say these environmental issues and how we can solve them. So let's see about air pollution. So as you can see, air pollution is one of the main concern in today's world. So the first problem or many problems that arise from air pollution are the hazardous greenhouse gases from transportation, the vehicles, during the uh, traffic condition, they do not switch off their vehicles and hence the greenhouse gases, that is carbon dioxide and other very harmful gases that emitted from these cars and trucks mix into the air, which makes it very difficult to breathe in and causes some of the very serious breathing problems. Another problem that arises is uh, 
uh, from the industry toxic gas emissions okay when they burn or the factories when the the manufacturing factory is doing some work that needs burning of some hazardous materials then the gas which is emitted is very toxic and it mix in the surrounding air contaminating it then burning and uses of polythene of course nowadays though government has banned the uses of polythene people are still using it and they are not realizing how crucial or how dangerous it could be for our environment so these problems causes various health issues as well as global issues such as okay uh, it can cause many things like deteriorating health as i said the breathing problems that are very prominent in areas where there is too much air pollution then global warming of course due to the hazardous chemicals in the air the ozone layer is depleting which is in turn leading to global warming and of course the breathing problem in large cities such as if you take for example delhi it has crossed the safeguard air quality long back and people are facing too much difficulty in breathing and they are not able to go out of their homes without a mask so this is a very crucial and dangerous situation we are living in what are the causes of this air pollution as said already the private vehicles the use of private vehicle is improved a lot it has been extended a lot because people prefer to use their cars and bikes instead of using public transport thus making traffic congestion then no awareness about recycling the campaigns of avoiding uh, avoid using polythene these lack of campaign and awareness among the individuals is leading to these air pollution so these are some causes problems and effects of these air pollutions and what can we do of course we can start using public transport much more and control the private vehicles or we can switch to organic gases or electro electric uh, cars in future i hope if elon musk does it okay then we can set up factories far from the cities or uh, villages where they are uh, presented so that it may not affect as much as it can when it is inside a village or a city and people can live more peacefully and they get air and water much better quality and then of course awareness campaigns and educating people on the importance of recycling has been uh, a very crucial topic nowadays and it should be implemented each and every place especially it sh should be started in school itself if you must ask me next is water pollution so what are the problems and causes of water pollution as we already discussed the toxic gases and the fumes from industrial areas are contaminating the water apart from that the uh, the different uh, chemicals that are used to purify the water is also the bleaching powders or other contaminated chemicals that are used to pure the water that are also affecting the health of people who consume that water and other price uh, due to deforestation and other problems water pollution is in, this is also a type of water pollution when there is a drop of flood and it is affecting our health very badly because if we intake water con contaminated with chemicals it affects our liver and also our intestines because it gets all messed up and all the chemicals are filled inside and we cannot move it out and the liver starts to fail water pollution also not only affects our human world but also the marine world the coral life it is affected very badly due to the contamination of water because if we take example ganga river it is decreasing day by day in its quality and all the fishes and other coral reefs that were present there all is destroyed because uh whatever we think the people who go to pray there they throw they throw all sorts of garbage inside the water making it impossible to consume 
Additionally, if you take uh, some other areas, large oceans, whenever some whale or some other type of uh, marine life washes uh, ashore, it is found to have lots of pollutants, garbage, and human garbage inside its stomach when uh, done the autopsy. So it shows how we are neglecting the other species of the world and we are destroying their life without realizing that we are doing some harm. So that is a very bad situation, I would say, because we do not understand that our acts are affecting someone else's life. So water pollution is definitely a very harmful effect which is left on marine life, especially the fishes, the sharks, the whales, and so on. We could not count them. It, they are becoming extinct. Certain type of sharks and uh, whales are becoming extinct because they are day, dying day by day um, uh, as a result of consuming these garbages, these human garbages. So we should try to avoid these things throwing in the water uh, because it is affecting those living inside the water. Next is deforestation. Of course, deforestation is just the loss of trees. Okay, When there are no trees, it directly affects the amount of rain that is produced on the earth. It also affects the wildlife centuries or the faunas who live inside these forests. Apart from that, it also affects the uh, different global warming situations because if there are no trees, no rain, then the heat is going to incline, it's going to surge. So people must realize that they should not cut trees only for building a house when it is not necessary. We can understand that due to increasing population, providing house and roof for each and every person is essential. However, we must see that because of this, we do not create an imbalance between the environment as well as the human. There should be a balance in our world. Only a balanced place can have a perfect life. The causes of this deforestation are, of course, cutting down the trees and no interest in planting or saving the plantation. Though we cut 100 trees, we do not think of planting even one tree because we neglect that. We do not think that it is going to be uh, important. They are not going to grow themselves. We need to do some steps. Because of that, there is also some situation that at some places there are droughts, whereas in some places there are floods. Nowadays, too many floods are occurring because the soil erosion is not there. There is nothing to hold the rain. There is nothing to hold these floods. Therefore, deforestation has led to more flooding throughout the globe. The only solution that can be seen is that planting lots of trees, protecting the forests, and preserving the wildlife habitat so that there is a balance in the ecosystem. Weather. How can we save our weather? Weather is definitely affected because we do the deforestation, we have increased our air pollution, water pollution, and this has all indirectly affected the weather. So some places there is too much rain, whereas some places are just waiting when there will be a single drop of uh, monsoon. And apart from this, there are certain uh, areas, like I said, Arctic areas, where the, melt, the, where the ice is melting at a rapid speed due to this global warming as the heat is increasing there is a reduction in the ice cap in that area and also some places there are lots of uh, problems relating to rains that is monsoons they are facing a lack of monsoons and that has directly affected the agricultural aspect as well so to save weather we must be assured that deforestation is reduced. The same thing, we need to cultivate more of uh, plantation. We need to plant more trees so that there is no sudden change in the atmosphere. The wildlife is also safe. If we, if we plant more trees and we provide a proper habit, habitat for these wildlife centuries, then we may be able to save them from extinction because there are various things, various wildlife animals which are result, uh, which are 
I must say, becoming extinct. For example, the white tooth elephant or the tigers or the sabers, they are all becoming extinct because the poaching is very uh, much uh, prominent in those areas. Though there is ban on hunting and other issues, the poaching has not reduced and people are trying to kill them just to make few pounds. This is not only affecting one person or one animal, but affecting the total globe. The total environment is uh, badly affected by these silly mistakes. So we need to stop the poaching. We need to put some stringent laws against these areas and we need to safeguard our habitat, safeguard the wildlife centuries so that there is a balance and the extent the wildlife centuries are saved and our future generation may have a look at these mesmerizing animals. And the last one is, of course, all these problems when discussed, there will be some questions we will ask you opinion. So you can include your solutions and opinion. I personally believe both citizens and government should work hand in hand in safeguarding Earth's environment, world life centuries, or in saving the global warming or reducing the pollution. So you can say like this, and then you can include all these points that uh, uh, people should be encouraged to do recycling. There's, there should be proper segregation of garbage. The people should be uh, made to uh, attend some campaigns and get knowledge on how to plant a tree or how to do terrace gardening or do organic farming. All these areas will be your opinion that you can give a solution to these problems. Now looking how you can use the collocations. Okay, so you can see here some collocations that are listed. These are very essential when you're talking, talking about the environmental issues like impact on environment. Okay, that is a drastic impact on environment due to the waste produced through industries. Ozone layer. Due to air pollution, there is a great depletion in the ozone layer in our world. Toxic waste. The toxic wastes that are produced from industries are contaminating the water. Endangered species. Tigers have become an endangered species and people need to take drastic steps to save them. Natural resources. We must take some steps to save our natural resources or else our future generations will be lost about them. Genetically modified, this mainly comes when there is uh, some agricultural aspect. Nowadays, everything is genetically modified such as the hens, the farm animals for meat and eggs, the crops, uh, for example, if you take the watermelons now come a very big uh, amount, they are very large because they are injected with some genetically chemicals which makes them to grow very fast and very big. They are not at all healthy for our, our health, I would say. They are very uh, dangerous actually to our immune system. So genetically modified crops and other products must be stopped from consumption. Organic farming, people must avoid the pesticides and the chemicals used for crops growing, whereas they should start doing organic farming by using natural and herbal resources. Solar power, solar power must be considered by all individuals to save our natural resources. These are some verbs that can be used to protect, to pollute, to endanger, to extinct, to contaminate, to recycle, to cause, to preserve. So these are a few words, verbs that you can use while speaking. To contaminate a water, okay, P industries are throwing some garbage to contaminate the water bodies present near it. So in this way, you need to construct your sentence up with using these verbs and collocations. So try to read this slide as a whole. You will get an 
outline on how to speak on your topic environment there are some pollutions there are some global issues there are some environmental problems always as there are some lexical resources that may help you to produce your answer in a greater and much efficient way so that your answers are up to mark and your ielts examiner is happy with you so i hope this is helpful for you and you will try to use them while speaking on this topic as this is one of the most common topics presented in IELTS speaking test so try to use them while speaking next time and all the best for your exams